What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of connection server or network issue you're currently having with Isonso. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys, you would support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is gonna be to take your keyboard, you're gonna simply click onto the Windows and the R key at the same time. Afterwards this tab will pop up and I want you to type in CMD and hit enter. Once you hit enter this tab will pop up and I want you to type in what I'm gonna type in. So IP config space slash flush DNS and hit enter. Once it is successfully flushed, as you can see, I want you to simply end this task again. Next step is going to be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, clicking onto the Windows symbol, clicking onto settings, navigating right onto network and internet. We want you to go to the very bottom where it says network troubleshooter. Click onto that. You're going to use Windows in order to find every kind of issue. If nothing pops up, simply click onto network and sharing center. Next step is going to be to navigate to the top left corner where you're going to click onto the second link where it says change adapter settings. Once this step pops up, simply left click and right click onto Ethernet or Internet. It just depends on which one you're currently using and disable it. Once it is disabled, wait a few seconds and enable it again. The enabling process could take quite a few moments, so wait patiently until it's connected again. Once it is connected, you should be able to simply end this task and return back to your network and sharing center. So let's wait a little bit until it's connected, so now you could end this, and click onto the blueprint of text where it says either internet or ethernet again. Click on that, click onto properties, click onto or double click internet protocol version 4, enable to use the following DNS server addresses and type in 4 times 8 at the top or the Google DNS server address on all at the bottom the same to Google server DNS or 2 times 4 and 2 times 8. Afterwards simply click apply and end this task. That's it for the video guys, I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription, I'm gonna really be thankful for that. And yeah guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just gonna do my best in order to help you out. Yeah guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, see you at the next one, and bye.